Hello and welcome to Hixie Studio. In this video I am going to show you how to decorate this uh, gift bag. Um, it's a uh, you can buy these gift bags all over the place and it's just nice to zhuzh them up a little bit with something. So I am going to be using this uh, die set. This is um, the flower corner from Janine's Art from the Humming Bees collection. It's got this lovely corner which we use twice um, plus the two little uh, bees there. And then also for the, the lettering I have used um, the trim craft. This is the banner. Uh, alphabet set okay so we'll put that over there for the moment so the first thing I'm going to do is um I'm going well I'll tell you what else I've used um, I'll bring that in as well the the gold card is from this set from the Centura Metallic the Precious Golds and it's the lighter of the four from this set okay I just wanted something fairly light as opposed to this lovely rich one here so that's the card plus craft card uh, to go with the craft bag. So I'm going to start by cutting out the uh, the three dies in craft card. So um, a corner and then these two bees here as well. One and two and we'll just get some tape on those. Let's put some tape here. And Okay, and so once once this one has gone through, I am also going to um, cut the same die uh, in the centura because what I've done is a little bit of paper piecing with the die um, into these flowers. So that go through. And that all looks like it's cut nicely. So we will just take that out. Get these bees out. Get my pokey tool. That's one. Just trying to keep the tape on there for the next cut. That's probably making more work for myself. You see the beautiful em embossing that, that you get on that die. I'm going to grab my, woo, and on the floor it goes. My little bit of uh, Centura Metallic for this. Um, let's get the other B out from here. And there we go. Again, you can see the lovely embossing on there. And then we might just need to put the brush over this one to get all the bits out before we move on. Ooh, getting myself stuck on the tape now. Okay, so a few little bits stuck in there. Get out. Okay, the die is clean, which is what we need. We can pop these extra bits out of here. I can do that in a moment. I'll leave that to one side for the moment rather than flapping. Um, now, this time, I need to be a little bit more careful how I take it out the die because I don't want to be brushing it because I want to take these pieces out a little bit more carefully. So we're going to run this through and I'm probably just going to leave it to one side till I'm ready to actually use it. But we will run it through now so it's done. Perhaps we actually make it go through the die cutter. I'm going to bring in, this is a bag. Uh, ooh, and as me saying, be careful, I might just let it all fall off. 
Okay, so the bits that have come out are not bits I need, so that's okay. So I'm just going to move that over out of the way so I can see where all the bits are with the plates. Okay, so I'm going to stick those two bits on the card that are started. This is the Centura uh, from the Centura Metallics Precious Golds. And I mean, if you're being frugal at home, you can always gut this. And what that means is you can cut a bit out the middle because all you're seeing is the edge. Um, and then you've got a, another bit for use elsewhere to make sure this sticks down because because you've got the, the handle bit in there, it is a little bit lumpy bumpy. But uh, it will stick and just yet, and then stick the, the craft card down as well. And we'll put that to one side because what we what we need to do now is we need to um, create our bag by sticking the two pieces here and then filling them in. Now, because there's two and you don't really need to see me do two, I have already um, jumped one st stage ahead and I have a piece here which already has the two corners stuck down and we just need to fill this, this bit in. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that bit. So I'm going to need my glue. Ah, I'm getting stuck. I've got a big jumper on today because it's a bit chilly and then the big flappy arms are getting stuck on everything. So I am going to put my hand on this like this and hold it. I might just get rid of the, the bees out the way. Okay, And I'm going to turn it round. I think I've lost one piece already. That looks like I've just thrown away this little bit here. Can you see? Yeah, but yeah. Bear with me. I can see it in the bin. Oh, no, I can't. Where's the ham? Sorry, guys. Yeah, I think that's that bit. You can see it fell out of there. So I've got my hand there to try and prevent that. So I'm just going to put some glue in that bit there. And, oh that in so it literally is like a bit like a jigsaw so whoop, everything's sticking today so literally I am going to push one piece out at a time and glue it in that's why I've already done one because you you don't need to see me doing this twice um there are bits I would, wouldn't would even dream of trying to paper piece, like the little bits in the leaves. I know that you can, um, if you did it on a, a sticky sheet, then, you know, it's a lot easier. But personally, you know, I prefer, if I'm going to do this, just to go with the, big, the bigger areas like this. And I think, you know, it just gives a really nice contrast to both the uh, the craft and to the um, this wood effect paper that I've used here. Can be fiddly, um, but like I say, well, if you do it like I'm doing it here, if you make sure when you take the die out of the um, machine that you try to keep all the pieces in and then hold it like this as you're going. First of all, you can see where you are with which bit and uh, you've got it much more in control. That's virtually one flower done there. Okay, and then we'll just do the smaller flower. What I might do is I might 
go ahead and just glue them and hopefully work quick enough before the food dries. Right, so we're we going to start one. Oh, come on, that's that one there. Once you get the first one then, then you can easily see where you're going. Next one. I'm hoping my hands aren't sort of like in the way too much here. Not very much, so I'm sort of over the top of, you can't necessarily see what I'm doing, but hopefully you get the idea. This is just a nice way of being able to highlight those flowers without putting a something behind the whole of the the dye. Just pick out these these bits. Up there. And put that the right way around. No, that's going to go that way. And last bit. Really, and the bit that you're left, the bit you've cut here, you can always use uh, on another project. So it's kind of like a two for one there. So just keep, don't sort of throw that bit die cut away. So we're going to put that to one side because for this project I don't need it. And then I'm going to, I'm going to stick this onto our bag front. Like so. There you go. Um, we'll get our little bees out from the dies. And I'm going to just stick these on top of this. Oh, no. <coughs> yes, I have. I stuck the gold on top, so I'll put the glue here. And just slightly offsetting with the craft. And then same here. Which way around do I do it? Mm -hmm. Some glue there, and then stick in like so. Okay, dokey. And again, just to save time for you, not having to sit and watch me cut everything. And look at all I've already cut the letters out using this this die set, the banner die set. <clears throat> All the letters. Okay. okay, so the dies there, and let's get these stuck on. Oh, I've got a bit of tape on me. Get my squeezers, and we'll do we'll do the letters first. Let's position them before I start sticking, just to make sure I've got the room. Everything wants to stick to me today. H the A. And again, I've cut these out in both the craft <clears throat> and the Centura gold. It's going to need to come down a bit to get the K in. <clears throat> and then stuck them. <laughs> okay. We're missing a Y. Y. Oh, there it is. You. Otherwise, it would have been thank you, not thank you. Okay, so those are pretty much in the right place. So let's get them stuck down. Let's start with the K, as that's the one we work back from the K. I'm going to grab a piece of paper to blot on. 
we'll start with the K there. And then the N. Uh, whoa! Drop to A. And sometimes, like went like this, when you're when you're sticking letters on, it is kind of better to work backwards so you know that you've got enough room. Uh, And the, o. and then the last bit will be to stick the two Bs on, which I will do with um, 3D glue gel. I'm going to give them a little bit of, um, of shape and then stick uh, them on in place. Grab my glue gel and put this one. Oops, and this one up here, and this little guy, and there. So, there we have our gift bag, our thank you gift bag. So, we started with a plain craft gift bag. We've used some Churapel, the, the metallics, the precious golds, and craft card, um, along with this. Oh, yeah, lovely corner die, which is still in my piece of card over here, isn't it? This this lovely corner die and the two little bees <clears throat> to create our thank you gift bag. Thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm.